Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 990. Now, this chapter right here was actually <clears throat> pretty crazy. It felt like it was all over the place, which I can understand why, but yeah. Anyways, next week, One Piece is going to be on break, which is fine. Oda, take as many breaks as you have to, you know. I'd rather have you be safe, healthy, and able to finish the series in the next couple of years than you being in a hospital and possibly wind up dead. So, yeah. Anyways, I know I'm saying that every time for break, but that's just that's just me, you know? Anyways, um, let's just get this started. The cover page, it looks like to me, Lola and Chiffon are finally accepting that Pound is their father and decides to rescue him, saying, oh, he's a stubborn guy, you know? How, no matter how many times he gets knocked down, he always gets back up. Anyways, the... The first... The... The next page involves like um, looks like Sa Sasaki is being informed about what's up with Big Mom and you know Kyoshiro and everyone else getting ready to rampage you know etc. And we have to it that uh, we have to it that we see Kaido having to like um, overlook the fight right now with the Minks and his army you know. It looks like the Minks does have an advantage because they're they are in their Sulong form you know. As for Jack, the guy, oh man, he's all wounded up by a bunch of sword stabs and a lot. he's bloodied all over. While Kinemon is about to step in, etc. We have to it that Inugurashi and the dog, the Nekomamashi says, hey, let us handle him. We got some business with him. We have to it that Jack gets ready to clash against um, Inugurashi and Nekomamashi in the Sulong form, you know? Then we go inside the dome on the live stage where Queen and King assess the situation while they end up, end, end up also insulting each other. And Queen is having a feeling that something feels a little off, you know, don't you think? And we have to it that the Flying Six are being informed, you know, about like what's going on here, etc. And we have to it that... Um, the probability of that man of that man being alive tomorrow. I don't know what man that 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 Hawkins is talking about, you know. But it looks like to me he's he he has only a one percent of surviving. But that aside, um, we have to it. Like I said, King makes an announcement to the Flying Six. You know, he says, as you can see, the situation has gone out of control. Five thousand intruders. Managed to infiltrate our banquet of 30,000 men. You could say this is the greatest failure since the Onigashima was founded, you know? We are putting the fighting on, on hold starting right now. Even if you capture young master Yamato, you won't earn the right to challenge one of the six stars, you know? And we have to it that, um, that the dinosaur girl whatsoever with the heavy head, you know, ends up t asking Pei Pei, hey, give me a freaking piggyback ride, you know, that kind of thing. But that aside, um, King says everyone tells everyone, you know, Kaido san is on the roof and the enemy is aiming to reach the ascending castle. I don't care what you do, each one of you do whatever it takes to stop them no matter what, you understand? And don't underestimate them. May the for may the fortunes of war be with you. And we have to it that one of the guys ends up talking to Drake, hey, follow me, I want to kill someone, you know, and it's Queen. He goes like, don't drag me in your little feud, alright? Are you trying to weaken our forces? And we have to it that uh, Hawkins is doing his fortune telling again while we are on the live floor while everybody is fighting to their fullest, you know, from the ninjas, from the Kurosumi ninjas who was who teams up with who teamed up with Kaido against the other samurai. We have to it that um, we have to it that the that big creatures end up interfering with the with the. With the fight right now, you know. I mean, those crazy creatures that Kaido recruited whatsoever. But we have to it that the samurai tells um, the Straw Hats, let us handle him, you know. While while they are being hurt and hitted right now, Zoro decides to interfere anyway, while Luffy and the others decide to interfere too. A giant mace was about to hit the army, but Jinbei blocks it with his one hand, you know. Luffy makes the announcement that if you are the same as we fought Oars as someone big as this, it will actually take us all... It will take all of us working together to take you down. But this time it's different. While Luffy enters his gear fort and gets ready to ready to launch his get ready to launch his attack whatsoever. We have to it that um we go to another scene where X Drake is actually wounded up and attacked right now. He goes like, Hey, what's the deal? He and Queen's like, I'm the one that should be asking that. Why don't you think about this carefully? At the Flower Capital, you were the one that who you were the one who helped Trafalgar Law escape, didn't you? 
even Hawkins like, hey, nobody other than that could 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 have done it. So what's your objective? And we have two of that Drake's like, yeah, I should have known. The person you wanted to kill is me, wasn't it? And Queen's like, yeah, obviously, you dumbo. And we have two of that, um, that they interrogate Drake by saying, hey, what, who are you plotting? Who are you working, who are you working, huh, for? X Drake is like, sorry to disappoint you. Even if you kill me, I ain't saying anything. He goes like, oh, you think so? How about I freaking torture you to my heart's content, huh? Let's try that. And we have to it that X Drake makes his, his escape and says, not all hope is lost, you know? Knowing that he he he's already like found out, etc. There's only one person he could count on. He ends up using um X Caliber on a giant while Luffy ends up using King Kong gun on at the same time, you know? We have to that Drake remembers what Kobe says about Luffy that he's an he's an incredible guy, you know. And we have to it that Luffy says, "Hey, Luffy, I know I have my reasons, but I have a, I am a lone force here. Please allow me to fight aside alongside you." And Luffy's like, "What the hell are you even talking about, huh?" And <laughs> and the chapter ends up there. And you know, next week One Piece will be on break, which is fine. I mean, like I said, Oda, I'd rather be see you safe and healthy. Than be in a hospital bed and possibly be at death row and not finish the series. That aside, um, this um, this chapter was pretty slick, you know. I mean, the fight, the it looks like the war fights are still going on and everything else altogether. King and Queen are discussing the situation, what's going on here and there. Even Queen feels suspicious about it. Drake, on the other hand, gets found out and is about to be killed, you know. While like um. We see Luffy and while well, we see Luffy and the others are fighting against the giants, you know, with Luffy saying, "Hey, it will took all of us down to take you on, but you know it's gonna be different this time, you know, etc." And of course, X Drake ends up asking Luffy, "Hey, let me team up with you. It's a, it's very complicated right now, but I'll explain to you the situation later, you know." So yeah, looking forward to the next chapter. Even though I have to wait two weeks, which is fine. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alfazetto. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out, bye-bye. Toot toot!